Welcome back guys to another YouTube video. Today we're here with Neha. I am the director of my home and I'm doing the rent to rent model. She's actually 18 years old and she's from London, but she's chosen Birmingham for her investment location. Let's go have a look inside. It feels like a dream, like I can't believe it's real. Let's have a look. Okay, show us. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. Very so, exciting. what exactly is the rent-to-rent model then? Because the viewers, some people don't actually know what it is. Essentially, it's where you rent the property from the landlord. Obviously, you get the permission, you get the correct contracts in place. So you rent it from them and you place it onto sites such as Airbnb, booking.com. So you can put on a different nightly rate and in return, you get a higher profit margin compared to the standard um, buy to let model. So you're saying that doing a rent to rent is potentially better than doing a buy to let, considering if you have a lower upfront cost. Yeah, so definitely, I think the rent to rent model is a lot you know, it's better, it's easier because first of all, you know, the process of getting the property compared to getting a mortgage is a lot easier. And second of all, the profit margins is a lot better. If I was to put this property for 150 a night, times that by 30 is about, what, 3,000? Mm -hmm. Something around there. So minus rent, minus bills, you're left around 800 to 1,000 pound profit and I can get my return that back within the yeah. first few months. And unfortunately, you can't get that with buy to lets because of the interest rates being so high right now. If you're someone that really wants to get their foot on the property ladder and you, you know, you haven't got much experience, do you think, you know, rent to rent is a good start? The model itself is actually quite simple. I think it's actually getting there, getting your first property. It's really easy to say, oh, this is what I want to do. But contacting landlords and agents is actually the hard part because you're going to get a lot of rejection. But I have this thing where you set, like celebrate your no's. Yeah. So every no you get rather than go, oh, just, you know, yes, I got another no. And it kind of motivates you just to not think about it, just move on to the next one. So I think beginning stages is a lot harder, but once you get over that, it's, yeah, it's a lot easier. As the quote that says, run towards failure, because the quicker you get past that, the quicker you are closer to success. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> right here you've got, what is the beam What is it? So this is for like putting your shoes on. A lot of times you're like, you know, struggling to sit down, put your shoes on. And you put all these little, all this This one was on already there. We added the plants. I can tell you what I can recommend you to do. You can put some books there and then that will be as an additional yeah. amenity. And this is your website, I'm, I'm assuming? No, so this is our digital um, guest welcome guide. And it just kind of answers all your questions, everything accessible. So you have Wi-Fi details, safety information, you have the instructions for the appliances, before you leave, what to do, contact details. This is so, so innovative. You said that this place was already furnished. Oh, so it was part furnished. Part furnished, okay. Yes. So that still means you saved a bit of money, right? Definitely. So when I was going for my viewings originally, um, some land was already doing Airbnb and I was asking what kind of customers and they said a lot of them were Oriental. Mm. So when I heard that, I was like, oh, what's going to appeal to them? So that's when I started, you know, I've got some jasmine tea there, chopsticks on the table alongside Amazing. the cutlery, and then obviously got the mahjong as well, which is a Chinese game, and yeah. Naha, you said that this whole place cost you £3,000 to furnish. I can see that you've got even extra more beds in here, so I'm assuming that you're trying to bump the nightly price up a bit. Yes. So, so what are you looking to have this on the market for? So I'm night? thinking about 130 like minimum up to perhaps 150 as the standard and obviously weekends it'll be a bit high like 180 maybe but yeah something around there first of all if you times uh let's say 100 let's just be a bit conservative and say 110 pounds times i'd say about 24 nights and what does that equal 2600 pounds You've got a table for the dining room. This is very unique and different. Why do you think it's important to furnish a property like this? I think because it targets um, a wider audience. So, you know, I'm now getting those luxury customers, professionals. I've tried to um, do it to a hotel standard. So now they see that they're gonna to wanna to stay here, their own privacy, own kitchen. I mean, I think it's a lot better compared to your standard, you know, 
It is. Hotel it room. Is. A lot of the viewers, they say, You always show the good side of a service accommodation. You always show the good side of rent to rent. I want you to be completely honest here and tell us what was the struggle like? First of all, getting the property. Because you kept saying, you're really struggling. You want to, you know, you want to, you need a help. You're really struggling and find a property. And then all of a sudden you got to the keys. How did you get from that struggle to the keys? I was looking Canary Wharf and just anywhere in London, two bedroom apartment, 2.7K. And I was like, I'm not going to pass referencing for that. So that's why I started targeting up here because I was looking at rent and you know it's affordable I'd pass referencing once we got the property things don't go your way a lot of time we had um, some packages stolen from us Whoa. we also had uh, things not arriving on time some deliveries being cancelled and it's like I had everything you know it's gonna come Monday it's gonna come on oh, that's Tuesday and I got prepared things aren't gonna happen the way you want it Naha, what would you say to people that are skeptical about starting rent service accommodation definitely do your research first I mean I feel like a lot of people are skeptical they're like oh Oh, is it legal? Oh, um, it's not going to make enough money. Oh, mortgage rates are high. Property itself to a lot of the younger generation seems very daunting because of the fact that it's made to seem like the only way to get into it is if you have a lot of money and you buy a property. You came across one of our TikToks, sir. Yes. Yeah. So you, you realise that actually I don't, it doesn't have to be so scary. I don't have to be tied down to this crazy mortgage. I don't have to have a huge upfront startup cost and you found model rent to rent what's your university situation like i'm on my gap year now do you guys put sort of motivational quotes this is what, what is um, i posted to. instead of changing our lives we blame and think and give power to sources outside of our control this is why so many people are weak and powerless so either you take control or you let the government the schooling system the employer your job your family your upbringing and your environment take control and have power over you your past does not need to define your future yes yeah, so i think this wow. really just set something off in me so obviously this was so april was um us preparing for mocks i had my a levels i was starting next month and that's uh, the time where i was thinking do i want to take a gap year do i not want to and when i saw that i was like you know what I was, I was kind of had the mindset, oh, I'm going to be left behind. All my friends are going to you know, go partying, uni life, and I'm just kind of doing my own thing. Stuck. I kind of wanted to be with them at the same time. And I was like, oh, I'll just do this thing on the side whilst going to uni. But I then realised, you know, after that, it's it's down to me to make that choice. I mean, I'm not going to be behind. I'm doing what's going to... You're, you're probably going to be ahead. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm a big believer in the saying, you know, you can have five years of pleasure and then 30 years of hardship. Or you can have five years of hardship, which is what you're doing now, and 30 years of pleasure. Yes. So I'm a massive believer in that. 100%. I think it was one we like that. I really like that. <laughs> because you're so young, and a lot of people are gonna, they're gonna most likely be slightly older, and they're just gonna think, what, what is that one thing that's pushed you mm. to do this? So, so growing up, it was my mom and my dad. But he was obviously very abusive and eventually he got caught. So we were on a trip in Thailand and when we came back, the police had raided the house. He was uh, sent to prison. I wouldn't say I was deprived growing up, but um, we weren't living comfortably. It was kind of just, um, we made it by it. And so after he got, you know, it was just my mom struggling. Hearing that abuse, I just wanted to leave. So for me, it was, I want my own property. I want to get out. I was always on right move when I was younger, like literally 12, my brother looking, oh, let's like find a house. But obviously, <laughs> we like, oh, ain't going to get a house. So for me, it was kind of like, I wanted to escape somewhere else, get my property as soon as I could. You've used that fuel and you've turned it into something positive. A lot of people use unfortunate situations like that um, as their, it's like a victim mentality that mm. they have. Like you sitting here right now is extremely powerful because you've turned a, such an unfortunate negative situation into something which is going to be so bl blossomful. So I wanted to give a better lifestyle to my family as well. So, you know, after the men left, it was kind of just my mom on her own. So essentially financial freedom is the goal. And how many properties do you feel like you need to kind of replace the income of what you would have made? I'd say I want to scale up to about 10 properties by the end of next year. So I'm saying that as now, obviously, if it's more, great, but minimum 10 properties. What kind of profit margins are we looking at in terms of what you take away per month? So What's uh, the kind of goal? 10K. 10K is the yes, goal? Yes, 10K is the goal. So probably around 12 properties, because if they're like around 800, then yeah, 12 to 15 properties. Is there anything you want to say to the viewers that when they they have no idea about rent service accommodation, is there anything you want to say regarding you know getting educated or how to do a bit of due diligence when f trying to find property themselves? The main thing is um, saving your money. I feel like when you're young, you get your first job, it's really easy to just spend it on clothes. You know, it's exciting. Obviously, I get the first couple of months, but I think if you're trying to get into this, you need to be really tight with your money. That's one thing I didn't do. So obviously, 
If I saved all the money, most of the money since I was 16, I would have a lot more. But where I, you know, first year of working, I just spent everything, just useless stuff. What if someone has the capital right now and they're ready to go, they're, they're ready to go, they just haven't got the knowledge yet, what would you recommend them to do? So I definitely say invest in yourself first. So if I didn't join your guys' program, I think, you know, I wouldn't, for example, know to join the ICO or the property redress scheme. Investing in yourself makes the whole process easier because it saves you money, it saves you time, because you have the resources ready and set up for you compared to you know actually doing your own research online. People, you know, they, they try to figure out the best investments like, should I invest in Airbnb? Should I invest in um, real estate? Should I invest in crypto and forex? They try to invest in all these different things, but they need to understand that the best investment they can make is themselves. Naha, thank you so much for taking us around your beautiful apartment. It's probably the most beautiful apartment I've ever seen, decoration-wise. Just let everyone know where they can find you. You can find us on our website at myhome.co.uk or um, we're yet to create an Instagram, but that will be linked on our website. And it will also, we'll link it down on the YouTube. Thank you, Naha. This is the story of an 18-year-old, one of our students that was going to go to university. She took a gap year, she decided to invest in herself and she got her first deal across um, and she's now making 500 to 700, 800 pounds profit per month conservatively.